Hello, this is Gary Teacher here with Hope School Reading Time again. Hello, how are you today? Are you excited about the new book we have? This is this book is called Inside Your Outside, all about the human body. So today we can learn a little bit more about what's inside. Let's look inside the book. Here's the cat in the hat. I'm the cat in the hat, here to share some good news. From the tips of your hair to the toes in your shoes, your body is moving. It never stops going. Right now, your heart is beating. Right now, your blood is flowing. You may be just sitting and reading a book, but your body is busy. Come on, take a look. So he's saying, let's go, let's look inside of your body. Wow, what's this? Inside your outside machine, it looks so crazy. Maybe you sit here and you go in the tunnel. Imagine if each time you walk down the street, you can look right inside of the people you meet. You'd see hearts pumping blood, pump, 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 pump. You'd see brains busy thinking, lungs breathing, bones, you know, bones moving, and eyes always blinking. There's one easy way you can see what I mean Take a ride inside my inside your outside machine. Every ticket is free. You don't have to pay. That's what free means. You don't have to pay. Woo! Every ticket is free. And before we are through, you will see inside me and inside of you too. Are you excited to see what's inside of you? Me too. Let's see. Let's start with the top, with your brain. It is key. That means it's very important. It is key. It controls all you do. Helps you laugh, ha, 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 learn, and see. It makes your legs move when you run, jump, or walk. It makes your face move when you blink, smile, and talk. It sends information. It's talking about your brain still. It sends information to all parts of you and does millions of things no computer can do. So which one is smarter, computer or your brain? Your brain never stops. It goes all day and all night. Even when you're sleeping, right? You have dreams, it means your brain is working. Your brain has two sides. One is left. One is right. Different things are controlled by each side of your brain. The left helps you read and remember my name. So you can see it's talking about the pictures, right? So you can see left brain here. Helps you remember, helps you read and remember people's names. Right brain, oh, let's see what that helps you with. The right brain helps you paint and play music and sing. La, la, la. Together, both sides help you do everything. So here's a little fun thing you can learn about brains. How big is your brain? Hmm. Is it this big? Me. Or this big? Is your brain this big? I don't think so. This is quite a surprise. Your two fists together are close to its size. So here's one fist, two fists. Maybe your brain is about this big. You can do that too. Meet the Feltons, who live in far off Faden. When they stand in the sun, you can see through their skin. Ooh, what's the, what is this? Yucky. 
Oh no. Are they people? It is easy to see when you look at a felton all of the bones that are known as a skeleton. Right. Did you know that? Skeleton? All of the bones are the skeleton. Bones shape our bodies and help us stand tall. We have, that means we, we have 206. Some are big, some are small. Oh, so many bones. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Oh, just kidding, that would take too long. Let's not count all the bones right now. There are flat bones in your head, soft bones in your nose, curved means not straight. Curved bones in your ribs. Here. Short bones in your toes. Down here. One bone in your ear. This made us think twice. They had to think twice. That means maybe, is this really a bone? It's so small. They had to think two times about it because they did not know. It's so small. It's the size of just one grain of rice. Look at the tiny bone is in your ear. Bones are in your body. Sorry, bones in your body are stronger than steel. That's a metal type of metal. But when a bone breaks, it is able to heal. Look here, he has a broken arm, but his bone healed and now he's better. I really like the pictures. Ooh. Here is a fact that we both think is neat. So that means a fact is something that's true, you can learn. All right, so I would say fact. All right, here's the fact. A joint is a place where two bones meet. Look, here's one joint, this bone, it meets this bone. Here's a joint, these bones meet together. <laughs> Do you know this one? What's this? And what's this? Ah, so let's learn. There are joints in your elbow, wrist, shoulder, and knee. Joints help you bend so you move easily. There are bones down your back. Here's Cat in the Hat's back here. They're all in a line. They help you stand up and are known as the spine. <gasps> Spinal cord. This is called the spinal cord. The spine has a spinal cord running inside it. A bundle of nerves which help move it and guide it. So there's bones and then there's nerve, nerves that are like wires down here. Here is a word we just learned today. The bones in your spine are called vertebrae. Nerves are like wires. Here's a wire. They run inside you. They let your brain know everything you do. So if you touch something, there's nerves that tell your brain you're doing something. You have five different senses, which help your brain tell what you hear, how things taste, what you see, touch, and smell. Sniff a flower. Sniff. And pull sweet smells to your nose. Nerves tell your brain and say, hey, it's a rose. Hey. Your nerves are saying, hey, it's a rose. So here's the five senses. You have smell, hear, taste, touch, and sight. Your sense of touch really tells you a lot. This kitten is soft. This pizza is hot. If you could not see other senses, you could not see other senses, it's true, like touch, taste, and smell would work harder for you. So if you could not see, maybe you, you could hear better because you, you're not seeing, so your brain is not working so hard to see, so then your brain works harder to hear and to taste and other, the other senses. So let's take a moment break now. And next time, if you want to read the rest of the book,
Come back and you can learn more about the senses such as hearing and tasting. So yeah, thank you for joining Hope School Reading Time and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.